Hey, tiny people living in my computer, it's Finn. Uh, this is a rant. This video is just literally a rant about how my, my week went. Um, but if you want to get to the rant, I advise skipping like a minute in. Not even a minute, like another 20 seconds. I don't want to, I'm going to say curse words because it upsets me. And I don't want to throw curse words out in the first like 30 seconds because then, you know, YouTube bot not happy. 35 seconds in about now, probably. I can't. The timer on my screen is behind for some reason. Uh, okay, cool. So, went with my mom. And we, me, my mom, my stepdad, my sister, my other sister, and my little brother. And it's supposed to be just us. And boom, we go to this spot. And there's a pool. It's by a lake. Cool. We get there. And then... The stepdad's mom shows up and starts instigating, which is awesome. Love that. Uh, the instigation leads to uh, fighting between stepdad and mom. Um, then the grandma starts watching, like, in-depth murder documentaries, specifically ones talking about rape and pedophilia and whatnot. Uh, in front of two autistic children who, non-verbal autistic children, that just kind of repeat stuff. One of them talks, and she doesn't know what words really mean. She just kind of repeats stuff she hears, and, uh, you know, her staring up and listening to people scream about rape and whatnot is probably not good, you know? Uh, then, uh, the pool that's outside... An old lady uh, shits in it. Just... Uh, so then the pool was out of commission while we were there. Which is awesome, you know. Because it's kind of most of the reason we were there. Uh, awesome, right? Love that. <sighs> then, uh, the stepfather decides, Huh, I'm going to talk to my mom about this real quick. And then talk to his mom about the fact he wants a divorce. But he hasn't said that to his wife. He, he just told his mom. It's like, hey, mom, I want to get a divorce. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna tell the person I'm getting divorced from. I'm going to come talk to you about it uh, on a trip that you weren't invited on. Um, a trip that you invited yourself on. And then, you know. So that's cool. Then, while that's going down... That information gets to my mom, his wife, and then those two get into a hell of a fight. And then he threatens to leave with one of the children. And then we all end up going home. Very cool. Very awesome. The next morning, uh, they're going to church. I not. My mom not. Little sister not. And we're like, well, since the pool got messed up, we're going to take this tiny child that wants to get in the water to a different pool. And we decided to go to my aunt's place, because she has one. So, we we get set up, and when we go over there, and then stepdad's like, everything you ever do is to hurt me. Like, you didn't invite me to go do this, and and... And, and you do this and this and this. And all the things he's pointing out are, like, incredibly... Like, he sounds like a five-year-old. And I love that man. I can't, I can't sit here and be like, I hate that fucker. No. I, I have a deep care for this man. He's done a lot for my family. Uh, but he was acting like a fucking five-year-old. And then, later on, uh, more screaming, and 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 more screaming. How much screaming? Well, enough. More than enough. A lot. It, screaming uh, all day. All fucking day for a week. Like, I, th I had one moment where there wasn't screaming. And it was because everybody left except me. So that's cool. 
Then, on one of the last days I was there, my little sister was climbing out of the pool, like the little kiddie pool that's in their yard. And she does this thing that everybody lets her do. My mom lets her do it. The dad lets her do it. Sisters, whoever's there lets her do this. She climbs up, and then she just stands up top and looks around for a bit. Nobody gets her down. Nobody tells her to move. She just stands up there. And, of course, the one time I'm in charge, she falls. And she, like, slams her leg into, like, the little edge piece of the pool. And then she screams. And then my mother comes out and then starts talking about... Um... She starts talking about the fact that me and my sister, who were in charge of this kid, were neglecting her, which uh, definitely makes sense, considering it's something that you let the kid do, but it's it's us neglecting the kid, because we did it the exact same way as you. Uh, so, you know, fuck me. Uh, so then I left. I walked off for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know. I just left. I made a short about me being in the woods. I was just like, hey guys, I'm out in the middle of the woods because of bullshit, which is accurate. Um, so I just I just walked. I didn't know when I was going back. I didn't go back on my own terms. They made me return. They like called me a bunch. And duh, 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 duh. So I went back to get them to leave me alone. But yeah, that fucking sucked. And then... My entire visit, my mother just kept ranting about how nobody would help her with anything. Meanwhile, I'm currently helping. Like, one of the times she was ranting about it, I was doing her dishes. It's like, nobody ever helps around here. And I'm fucking got my sleeves rolled up in dirty-ass water cleaning these dishes. It's like, yep, nobody ever helps you. Not one time. Then another time, it's nobody fucking helps me. Because she ran inside. And it's like, cool. I'm glad you think that. I'm going to go take care of your kid now. Cool? Cool. And it was just that a million times. Like, genuinely at least a hundred actual times that happened. And it, 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 I get it. Life's hard, and sometimes you need help, and you don't have it. But saying you don't get any help when I'm currently helping you is so fucking stupid. It makes no sense whatsoever. It's like, yep, I'm fully alone and nobody cares or or does anything to help around here. Meanwhile, I'm like doing 90 fucking things for you. I'm doing your dishes. I'm helping with your fucking dog. I'm watching your kids. I cooked for your oldest kids so they would leave you alone. It's like, th- that's happening. And that's what I'm doing currently. Not what I've done and or plan to do. Just what's going on now. But nobody ever helps you. I fucking, yeah, true. Then, my oldest sister, still younger than me, she she comes back from the dentist, and she's fucked. Like, I don't mean like, hi, no, she's fucked. Like, her teeth are fucked up. I have a, a picture, not showing it. A, it makes my stomach, like, curl and curdle. It makes my stomach curdle. Like, milk. Uh, And B, I don't feel like showing the face of my sister. Especially considering she's not an adult. Uh, But yeah, her teeth were, like, fucked. Like, there was, like, this much space between all of them. And they were tiny, itty-bitty, and fucking extremely bloody. Um, But that was definitely a fun visual to see. I love seeing people I care about in pain. Um... Speaking of people I care about in pain, at one point, um, me and my mom are watching uh, my little sister. And then uh, a guy comes and he's like spraying stuff for mosquitoes uh, because they live in the middle of the fucking woods. And uh, my mom got like really pissed at the child. And then... This kid loves to watch cars leave the driveway. She, she will do anything in her power to go watch a car leave. So, she's like, I, I'm, she's like banging on the door. She wants to go outside and watch the mosquito guy leave. 
My mom gets pissed, yells, something that ends in fuck out, and then sprints full fucking force at the door, and instead of going to open it, she's fucking bang, bland, fucking full force slams her hand into it, hard enough to, like, push a nail from the inside of the door out of it through her fucking hand. It also got the door fucking stuck on the, on the fucking, like, door hole, because she just fucking waylaid it in there, and it was stuck, so then the kid couldn't go out and watch, which made her upset. So then me and the child got yelled at more. I love getting yelled at, if you didn't know. I, I'm not, we're not, it's not like, it's, it's not like she's screaming at two autistic kids or anything, right? Right? It's a lot, and it makes my brain hurt. It makes my brain hurt. I don't like it. It makes my brain hurt. But yeah, that, that, that's been my week. And you're probably like, dude, you only named like three things. Yeah, because the rest of it's just repeats. It's just more getting yelled at, more people fucking hurting themselves, more overstimulation, more stupidity from adults that should know better. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a bunch of bullshit. The The rest of the stuff I'm saying just sounds like a broken record, so I don't have to, like... I, it would be me going, and then he yelled. And then she yelled. And then he yelled. And then she yelled. And then he yelled again. And then she was yelling. And then she hit the wall. And then he cried. And then she yelled again. And then he yelled. But she also yelled. Like, it, that's not at all information that matters. So that's why I didn't explain everything. Just know that a week of nothing but yelling, cursing, being blamed for things, just not fun. You fucking get it. It wasn't fun. Uh, I'm going to end this and try to record something that's less upsetting because I'm getting to, when I record and talk about things that make me angry, sometimes I do get upset and then like I almost cry and I'm trying not to. So I'm going to end this and take a break and then record something positive. Love you. Love you guys.